binding contract. <laughs> That's what it is. It That's is. what it is. That's what it is. It, it. Go, 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 go. It is a final binding contract. <laughs> it is a binding contract. That's it what is. it is. That's it what is. it is. That's what it is. It is a final binding contract. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Go, go. <laughs> Everybody knows you never go full retard. That's what it is! That's what it is! It is a binding contract! <laughs> never go full retard. Go! Go! You went full retard, man. Guys, I am super sorry about that disturbing opening. I hope there were no children in the room. But there is a reason for it. You see, I've abandoned the idea of doing the Bird Box Challenge and have chosen instead to perform the Young Turks Challenge. Oh! Oh! <laughs> But you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Man, I really, really busted my nose there. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Track at Home's T2 GPS Tracker. This thing easily fits in or on anything you want to protect or know the whereabouts of. You can use the tracker to help prevent or stay on top of any number of nightmare scenarios from car theft to kidnapping. It's equipped with a listen in feature that allows you to listen to the activities going on around the device so you can literally spy on the thugs who stole your stuff or took your child as you track them down. Track at Home also has a fall alert feature, which is great to keep tabs on elderly loved ones that need special care. It keeps track of pets that might wander off, lets you know where your children are if anything bad happens, and travelers use Track at Home in case of misplaced luggage. Grab a device or two, and once they're activated, you can keep track of whatever, wherever in the world it's located through the free Track at Home mobile app. It's simple to use, and all you have to do is set it and forget it. Grab a couple of them at trackathome.net and use my promo code in the description to get 20% off. You guys, enjoy the video. He's like, and Bob, you'll agree with me here. It's it's not a contract. It doesn't mean anything to me. Oh my God, you just told everybody, including the Chinese, that the thing we agreed to doesn't mean anything to you and doesn't count. Oh God, God. This is one of those examples where a simple Google search can easily get you to a level of understanding that will protect your mind and the way you view the world from the left versus right paradigm propagandists like the Young Turks. Remaining in ignorance in this information age is a choice. You actually have to go out of your way to stay in the deeply carved trenches of apathy and stupidity. When I was a kid, if I wanted to ascend to levels of higher learning, that would usually require me begging my mom to please take me to the library. When I got there, I had to know what I was looking for, know how to use the Dewey Decimal System, and find the bookcase that contained the book that was filled with the knowledge I was willing to absorb. Then I had to check the book out, take it home, and physically thumb through pages. Remember those days? And then I had to remember to take that book back to the library, as indicated by the card in the back that was stamped with a particular date. Today, I got this little device that contains the information of the libraries of the world, and all I have to do is roll over in bed, turn it on, type in some words with my thumbs, and have the device read the information I want to know. There's no excuse. Ignorance today is a choice. Prior to me recording this video, I'd heard about MOUs or Memorandums of Understanding, but I would only be able to hazard a guess as to what it actually is. And before I show you what it is and why what I just said is relevant, let's watch Chunk Uger and Anna get off the stage, you fat F Kasparian. Get off the stage, you fat fuck! Rip Trump for his understanding of Memorandums of Understanding. And this is important, guys, so stick around. The context is Trump's trade negotiations with President Xi of China and his announced delay of the implementation of increased tariffs on Chinese-related goods. Something happened in the Oval Office that uh, gives you a sense of how incompetent Trump really is. By the way, guys, you know how against the Young Turks I am. You know how much I oppose and expose mainstream media for colluding with government to distract, deceive, and divide the masses. And you know that I'm not a fan of Trump or any government official or political puppet, and you know why. Because anybody who is ascended to and operates in that capacity always works against individual liberties. But the Young Turks here routinely go out of their way to tell you just how stupid they think Trump is, and in the process, they end up showing you how stupid they are. 
Let's continue. And this all went down in front of a Chinese trade official. So in the middle of these negotiations, the idea of what's essentially a binding contract came up. Essentially a binding contract. Now keep that in mind because it's very important. She said essentially a binding contract. That's important. And uh, here's what Trump had to say about it. Take a look. I don't like MOUs because they don't mean anything. To me, they don't mean anything. I think you're better off just going into a document. Okay, he said that kind of fast and you may not have caught it. He said, I don't like MOUs because to me, they don't mean anything. I think you're better off just going into a document. An MOU is a contract. It's the way trade agreements are generally used. The guy who's talking is U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer who Chunk is going to call Robert Lightziger. 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 Ambassador Robert Lighthizer. Lightziger. Lighthizer is telling reporters that an MOU is a binding contract. People refer to it like it's a term sheet. It's not a term sheet. It's an actual contract between the two parties. Yes. A memorandum of understanding is a binding agreement between two people. Yes. And that's what we're talking about. It's detailed. It covers everything. Uh, in, in, in great detail. It's just called a, a memorandum of understanding. It's a legal term. It's a contract. And would you think that that would be a very yes. long term deal, yes. sir? Yes. yes, I think so. Yes. Contracts last while they last. There's no term. They last while they last. Lighthizer. Lightsinger. No chunk. Lightheiser. Lightsinger. Lighthizer just referred to an MOU or Memorandum of Understanding as a binding contract five times. The opposite of what Trump said. And the Young Turks love it. Okay, so I want to be clear about this. Uh, you're going to see some great video coming up in a second, okay? Uh, but that's our the, the US trade representative. Chunk is really impressed by that, and he wants you to be impressed by that. So because he's got the fancy title of U.S. Trade Representative in front of his name, he must know what he's talking about. Chunk is using an appeal to official status to sway your minds. And guys, this method works for a lot of people. The video entitled Massive Trump Facepalm, How Is This Man President? has over 127,000 views and an off-the-charts like-to-dislike ratio. So people are lapping up and believing everything the Young Turks say here. But let's continue. What were you saying, Chunk? Yeah. And he's pretending to explain to the reporters, he's actually explaining to the president because everybody else understands this. Everybody else understands what a memorandum of understanding is? I don't think so. In Chunk's fantasy world, everybody walks around all day, every day, telling people how stupid they think Trump is. And not if, you, if you're a plumber and you don't understand it, bless your heart. But the reporters covering it generally know it. Almost every other official knows it. A, memor a memorandum of understanding is a contract. It's just called a memorandum of understanding. What he said is it's not a term sheet. So a lot of times before you get a binding contract, you'll get a term sheet, which is not binding. And he explains that is not what this is. Now keep that in mind because now Kasparian Lighthizer. Lightsinger. Lightsinger. Lighthizer. Lightsinger. Lighthizer and Chunk have called the Memorandum of Understanding a binding contract. Okay. Now, the fact that he had to explain that to the president is incredibly embarrassing. Incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> okay, we got it. But you know what's even more embarrassing? Calling out the people who are calling out the people who claim the people they're calling out should be embarrassed for being stupid when it's really the caller outers who should really be embarrassed. But we'll get to that in a minute. Anne is about to step a little deeper into their pile of crap. And that's bad enough. That's bad enough. But if you think that it can't possibly get worse, mm. it's about to get worse. Buckle up, brace for impact. <laughs> okay, Chunk. I'm strapped in and brace for impact. Just like you say, I believe everything the young Turks say. <laughs> By the way, I disagree. I think that a memorandum of understanding <laughs> is not a contract uh, to the extent that we want. We're going to have, we're doing a memorandum of understanding. That will be put into a final contract, I assume. But to me, the final contract 
is really the thing, Bob, and I think you mean that too, is really the thing that means something. A memorandum of understanding is exactly that. It's a memorandum of what our understanding is. But to me, the contract is, uh, the real question is, Bob, so we do a memorandum of understanding, which frankly, you could do or not do. I don't care if you do it or not. To me, it doesn't mean very much. But if you do a memorandum, how long will it take to put that into a final binding contract? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. It is a final binding contract. That's what it is. 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 Everybody knows you never go full retard. That's what it is. That's what it is. Never go full retard. It is a final binding contract. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. You went full retard, man. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said that the information superhighway is now at our fingertips? The Young Turks are self-proclaimed reporters with a large staff with production managers and editors. And these people couldn't go to Google, type in memorandum of understanding, and educate themselves on what this actually is? Here are a couple of examples of what it means. This is from Investopedia. A memorandum of understanding is a non-binding agreement. Binding contract. That's what it is. <laughs> it is a binding contract. Nope, it's a non binding agreement, Chunk. Between two or more parties outlining the terms and details of an understanding, including each party's requirements and responsibilities. An MOU is often the first stage in the formation of a formal contract. In other words, an MOU is not a binding contract. As a matter of fact, an MOU isn't even a contract at all. This is from Wikipedia. A memorandum of understanding is a type of agreement between two bilateral or multilateral parties. It expresses a convergence of will between the parties, indicating an intended common line of action. It is often used either in cases where parties do not imply a legal commitment or in situations where the parties cannot create a legally enforceable agreement. It is a more formal alternative to a gentleman's agreement. So it's less than a binding contract, but it's more serious than a gentleman's agreement. It is a binding contract. Rocket Lawyer says, a memorandum of understanding shows that two or more business partners are serious about taking the next step towards a mutually beneficial agreement. It describes the project they intend to work on together and what each party's expected contribution will be. It is a binding contract. It's just called Memorandum of Understanding. He's like, and Bob, you'll agree with me here. It's, it's not a contract. It doesn't mean anything to me. Oh my God, you just told everybody, including the Chinese, that the thing we agreed to doesn't mean anything to you and doesn't count. Oh my God, God. So, what is he, happening right now? No, how do you not understand how low his IQ is? He just explained it to you. And guys, the reason this whole thing is important is because it highlights the fact that you can be so against an idea or person that you're willing to promote outright lies to support your bias. And that's exactly what Chunk and fat shaming Anna Kasparian are doing here. Get off the stage, you fat fuck. To hell with the facts, let's just make Trump look bad. We gotta do anything to make Trump look bad. Now, if the Young Turks are going to lie about something that's so easy to verify, what else are they lying about? And you guys know the answer to that question. It's a whole lot. If you guys enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know, and don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. And if you want to stick around and watch a couple more videos, you may like them. You never know. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.